there are multiple ways to approach each situation in Ghost Recon Wildlands. And for each strategy, you can equip a primary and secondary weapon as well as a sidearm that suits the particular job. In this video, we'll take a look at all the 87 weapons that have been and are in the closed and open beta per weapon class. So you have an idea what is available to you when you have to select a loadout for a mission. Next to this, we'll take a look at how to unlock these weapons and the ways you can customize them. Earning the weapons is pretty simple. In the closed beta, you start off with three weapons, a P416, an MP5 and a P45T sidearm. That's three weapons that are already in the pocket. Most weapons can be earned by opening weapon caches that are spread out around the map. There are also variants of weapons that have a unique setup with their own specific attachments and camouflages. Most of them can be earned by eliminating the corresponding bosses like Yuri and El Polito in the closed beta. These are indicated by the laurel leaves. Others can be unlocked through Uplay or whatever the counterpart is on Xbox One or PlayStation 4. In our case, indicated with the Uplay logo. Alternatively, you can pick up weapons that are laying on the ground, but these will disappear once you respawn or relock. Keep that in mind when you pick those up, and let's get into the actual weapon list. We'll start with the assault rifles. There are 21 of them, as of yet, when you include the variants. Of course, you have the P416, followed by the AK-47, with two exotic variants, his AK-47 and hers AK-47, the SR-3M, 556XI, AK-12 with two variants, the AK-12 GR Network, which is available through Uplay, and the Ritmo, which is an exotic variant. There is also the AUG A3, the 805 Bren A2, the G2, which looks similar to a FAMAS, L85A2, R5 RGP, ACR, M4A1, M4A1 Tactical, which is an exotic variant, an MK17, TAR21, El Comandante, which is an exotic variant, and the SAG556 Lama, which is available through Uplay. Following this up, there are eight light machine guns, once again including variants. First up is the MG121, followed by the MK249 with the Lama Tifo as an exotic variant, the Stoner LMG A1, the MK48, the Type 95, the 6P41 and the L Baston, which is an exotic variant of the 6P41. In the submachine gun category you can choose from 15 weapons, the MP5, which has a variant MP5X, the P90, the PP19 with the exotic variant Residuous, the SR635, the MP7 9mm C1, the Experimento No. 42, which is an exotic variant of the 9mm C1, the 9x19 VSN, PSG Scorpion EVO 3, Vector 0.45 ACP, the Mendeley, which is an exotic variant of the Vector, and the Yai, which is also an exotic variant. The sniper rifles allow you to choose from 14 weapons the M40A5, the M1891, the SR25, the Dragonov. The Lanza Sagrada, which is an exotic variant of the Dragonov, G28, SRS A1, HTI, L115A3, the Warhawk, which is an exotic variant of the L115, the MK14, MSR, SR1, and the Chikamala, which is an exotic variant of the M1891. That's Within the shotgun weapon category, you can choose from the following six ones the Super Shorty, with another variant which is exotic, the, the El Contista. There's also the SAS G12 with the Silencio as an exotic variant, 
And finally, the SPAS 12 with El Optiquio as an exotic variant with folded stock, which is pretty cool. Finally, we'll take a look at the weapons that occupy the third weapon slot, the sidearms. There are 13 sidearms in the game so far. First up, we have the fully automatic SMG-11, followed by the Scorpion. Uh, there's also the Santa Blanca Scorpion, which is an exotic variant. The P-45T, 5.7 USG, M1911, P-12, P-227, M9, El General, which is an exotic variant of the M9, T-50 or Desert Eagle, La Novena, which is an exotic variant of the Desert Eagle, and finally Lady Killer, which is also an exotic weapon. In the gunsmith, each weapon can be customized with certain attachments and camouflages once you have to unlock those. You can swap out the stock, the scope or the sight, the trigger, which decides the fire mode, the magazine, under barrel, rail, barrel and muzzle. To top it off, you can add camouflage to your weapons to completely blend in with the environment or, you know, the complete opposite. There are 41 camouflages to choose from and we'll cover those in an upcoming episode. Hopefully you now know how to unlock the weapons, which weapons are available to choose from and in what way you can customize them. If so, please consider leaving a rating in combination with some constructive feedback so we can improve our content. Any questions can be asked in the comment section and the same goes for any comments that you have. Thank you for watching and we wish you a great day.